Hi, welcome, Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show it to you how to reset the computer back to factory settings where you can bypass the iCloud active lock, or maybe you want to wipe the computer clean and start fresh again, or maybe you just bought it off from Marketplace or Craigslist and there's a username here and you just cannot get in you do not know the password and you're stuck with this computer what should i do all right so i'm going to walk you through how you're going to reset it you take control you have the ownership back uh, fresh restart using this process all right so just kind of show it to you i try to cover up the username i do not want to show that in public so let me go ahead and click on this user and let's just say that, you know, the password, I do not know the password. I'm just going to put random one to zero and I hit enter. It will say incorrect. I'll try a different password, hit enter, it's incorrect. So I'm stuck with this. I do not know what to do. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and shut down the computer. Making sure that you have the charger plugged into the computer because we're going to do a reset. It may take some time where you need to have the power plug plugged in all the time now if you're not sure what model it is uh, go check your serial number and look it up there are two types of cpu one of them is apple silicon m1 cpu or the intel processor cpu mine here the laptop 13 pro macbook pro 13 is running on the m1 meaning that this is the apple silicon so what i'm going to do is press and hold the power button And you're going to see that screen that says continue holding for startup option, loading startup option, and you can let go the power button. For an Intel base, you have to press and hold command R for the Intel base CPU. Command R for the recovery. Um, but for Apple Silicon, you press and hold the power button until you load up the option. Okay. So here at this point here, I have the option being loaded up. You can see that the Macintosh hard drive and option is available. I'm going to click on option here for now and click continue. And try to cover up if there's any user ID or whatnot. Okay. You will bring me to the user ID page. Uh, here, this is the user ID page. I can sh slightly show it to you. You can see that the user uh, one of the user here, uh, I mean, that is an Eagle logo, so it's fine. But the other user had, had, had a picture on it. So I do not want to show you that. Okay. Now here you can see that it says Mac recovery. Uh, what you want to do is go to the top left corner where you can click on the recovery assistant and then click on erase Mac. When you click on erase Mac here, it's going to show it to you that says, if you're unable to unlock this Mac, you can fully erase it and reinstall Mac OS. This would delete all media, data, and settings on all volumes on this Mac. An internet connection will be required to reactivate this Mac and reinstall OS. All right, so read that instruction and you should understand we are erasing the computer back to factory settings and I'm not getting any of the data. So I agree to that. I would say erase Mac. Let's go ahead and erase it. So the computer is in a process running through the um, erasing the laptop and we need to connect to the internet. So you bring you the page. I'm gonna connect to my Wi-Fi and this process might take some time. So uh, stay tuned. If you feel free want to skip forward and fast forward, you're welcome to do that. I'm just going the entire process here without cutting the screen, without stopping the screen, recording. And um, I just wanted to show it to you from start to finish the entire process. Instead of holding the computer, I'm trying to have something here to lift the screen up so I don't have to keep holding it. Okay. I don't think I need to cover the screen. I think that was the last section of showing the user and the pictures, I think. Okay, select Wi-Fi. 
network from the menu attached or the cable. So what I'm going to do is going to the top right corner. There's the Wi-Fi little signal. And I'm going to select the 5G, which is a lot faster. I'm typing in my password here. Once I type in the password, click join. Okay, I'm now connected to the Wi Fi. Do you think it's better without the light? You guys can see better. Mac is activated. Your Mac is activated. What does that mean? So let's see if we can erase the Mac. Again, the process erase Mac. That's what we need to do. Erase the Mac. All right, so you bring you to the page, select language. I'll be using English in my purpose. I'm going to click next, which is the arrow. So it's going to examine the volumes, select Wi-Fi. I'll be selecting the Wi-Fi. Come on. Okay, once I select the Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi is connecting, what? Okay, the Wi-Fi is connected. This is your Mac is activated, exit the recovery. And here is what we need to do. Um, we can reinstall the Mac. So what I'm going to do is erase the disk first, continue. And I'll be selecting view, show all devices, selecting the Apple SSD and erase. I'm just going to put Mac SSD for now, erase. Why is that? Why can't I erase it? Mac journal, use Mac journal extender, see if that works, Mac SSD. So if I install without deleting it, I'm confused. Well, let's try. If 
agree, agree. Oh, it's already erased, no wonder. So the total is 494 and available is 494. So that means the hard drive was already erased. Okay, well, I'm not sure. Maybe it's erasing now, uh, but I thought I need to erase first. So I apologize. There's a misstep right there. I apologize. So it takes about three hours and zero minutes remaining. I'm not sure why it's going to take that long, but we'll, I'm just going to wait, okay? It shouldn't be that, maybe half an hour, maybe, hopefully less. All right, just stay tuned, guys.
I'm just going to move the arrow closer to the bar, making sure that the progress is still going. I do not want to <laughs> film this and, and nothing is working. So just going to wait.
see what's going on here. About a minute remaining. Well, yeah, I guess we just wait. It should be done by now. I'm not sure why it's taking so long. I guess it waited that one minute, the longest one minute ever. Now the computer is restarting. Apple logo is coming up, rebooting. So let's see. That was fast, and the bar just finished a split second. It should bring us to the setup screen. And once we get to the setup screen, that means the ownership of yourself, which you just reset the computer, then you can take control of it. Okay, so it bring you to the setup page as I was predicted and go ahead and select the country or the region. Um, I'll be selecting United States and whatnot. So pretty much at this point here, you can do your own setup. When you finish setting up the computer, you are the new ownership of the laptop. Contains a built -in screen reader called okay, I got Voiceover. it.
If you know how to use voiceover, press the command key while you press touch ID three times at the right end of the touch bar. She sounds funny. To learn how to use voiceover <laughs> to set up your Mac, press the escape key. I thought, I thought a different Mac OS sounds better, but anyway, um, I was explaining that now this is the ownership that you reset it, set it up and you're good to go. So, um, I know that this video is a lengthy process, about half an hour or so. And, um, well, sorry that you guys had to wait for this long, but I just do not want to skip any process. No editing on the video. It's just start to finish. And this is the entire process on how to do it. So hopefully you like it. And if you do find this video helpful, please go ahead and smash the like button for me. I really appreciate you for just liking the video. Comments down below. If you have any question comments, I do read your comments and I do answer any of the computer questions that you have. Okay. And again, if you want to show appreciation, click on the super thanks. Super thanks allow you to show appreciation, donate to my channel. And thanks for doing that. Until next time. Bye now.